and it became very popular in the early 20th century as a newspaper of the people because it's heralded news. They were talking about the events that were around them. It could be like the Second World War or about love, about grief, anything. They put it together in the songs. Juan Jose Gutierrez Rodriguez, Puerto Rican, been living in New York for a long time, since 1976 precisely. Me and my wife came uh, because it was my interest to pursue, you know, major studies or superior studies in music. I was a student there, but I was also working professionally. New York is New York. I, I need to go there. But I, you know, I was lucky that I was at the Manhattan School of Music, I started percussion over there. And in the meantime, you know, I, I was, I mean, I had many opportunities. I'm blessed and lucky for the opportunities I have gotten. I, they were offered to me also. I was able to, uh, to tour while I was studying uh, at Manhattan School of Music uh, to tour a Broadway show on tour. I went on tour for five years, all over the States. I was here basically trying to settle down, coming back to school. Then I met Marcia Reyes. Marcia Reyes happens to be an icon in this music that we call La Plena, uh, classical Puerto Rican music. Because Marcia Reyes is really my, my mentor. He didn't only, you know, taught me about the music, but he also introduced me to all the old-timers, masters of this music who were living here in New York, in the Bronx, and also all over, you know, Brooklyn, uh, Lower East Side, and uh, so I was in heaven. Well, basically, when we talk about plena y bomba, bomba came first. Bomba brings the identity and the influence of people of color in Puerto Rico. From the remnants of slavery, I would say, uh, and the children of slavery, and uh, during those times, and uh, it were spread all over uh, the Caribbean and the Antilles and the Americas. And in Puerto Rico, it took root in this way. And you go to other uh, nations, islands in the Caribbean, you, see, you will see very similar traditions, but I think what happened is it took root and it, uh, you know, got the influence of what of the environment of Puerto Rico with what was happening also at that particular time, and it evolved in what was called bomba. The children and the descendants of those who practice embrace bomba in Puerto Rico originated La Plena. La Plena is a, a different child. He started developing by late 19th century, early 20th century, and it has a lot of Creole flavor. The influence of other people, but basically it came from that tradition, people of color, people of no means. For La Plena, we use the main instrument is called panderos or panderetas, the handheld drum. The rhythms that are captured in two or three drums is the rhythm, it's a component. One has a very particular role of supporting. It's like the foundation of the rhythm. It builds up with another sound or tone, another rhythm that brings together the rhythm of La Plena. But nothing would happen if you don't have a song a message about the experiences, the feelings, and that's very important. In Bomba, you see the big drums, drums that we call barriles. You have a big one called boleador. It's the foundation of the rhythm and carries that constant rhythm. While the higher drum is the primo, and the role of the primo, of that drummer behind that drum, is to communicate with the dancer. It's like a, a dialogue. They're having a dialogue. You say something to me, I say something to you.
Puerto Rican music, I would say. Any, any form of Puerto Rican music is an element of the identity.